I'm John Erdos from Erdos & Co. in Dallas. Hi, I'm Luis from Erdos & Co. from Dallas. Both from Dallas. I'm Christopher Grubb from Los Angeles, hosting House Tipster. Hi, guys. How's it going? It's Hi. going well. Good. Busy week. It was a busy week. Yes. So great to see you at the show. We got yeah. to do a panel. And what I love with House Tipster is talking to designers from around the country, and you're representing Dallas yes. in the house. Yes. Talk a little bit about your business, your career, and the business, because you're just so recognized for what you're doing. And we have Erdos & Co, which is a showroom in the Dallas Market Center. About 50% of what we sell, we design and develop. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the other 50% we curate. Yeah. Well, and we're in the forehand showroom. Yes. What's interesting for a viewer too on what us designers do, we get to do custom, but talk about your curating. We walked around the showroom. What, besides what you want in your house, what do you look at? What do you see on product and the material and, and things like that? Well, we look for items that we aren't designing ourselves. So for instance, leather chairs, which are important to us, um, we're not designing any leather product. The items that we have already with what they have. And also unique, well-designed pieces that like good function, that's a partner that we're looking for. Now, yeah. you both design. What goes in your design process? I actually we'll get with. inspired by customer requests and also when I travel, I see the color and the architecture that inspire me to put both of them together. Uh -huh. What is demanded by the customer and what is out there leading the fashion. So I put them together to create my own design. That's great. And, and do you have a process similar? What do you, well, how is it similar. Different? You know, I, uh, again, when I travel, I'm constantly taking pictures. So a lot of my designs are based on architecture, but we also come to the the shows like this to just see what else is out there. I'm inspired by the textile of a fabric. Like if you put this fabric onto a chair, it looks like absolutely stunning because actually fashion is leading the trend before the home industry. Right, catch. I thought this was from a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, again, you go to different parts of the country, and the question we always get asked, trends, trends, but is there something you're seeing coming up? One thing I'm noticing is these natural woods. We saw it at ICFF, we saw it at Neocon. Very natural, showing the grain, more sophisticated. I think the other thing that we're seeing a lot of, we're seeing still a lot of metal mixed in with wood, and not necessarily bright metals. They're, they tend to be aged or burnished. Also, we're seeing a lot of jewel tones in, in fabrics. The other thing I'm noticing is woods are getting lighter. Yes. I'm seeing maple, I'm seeing oak that I haven't seen in years. Yeah, I think that nature element is still important and true live edge, not engineered live right. edge. I agree with you on nature. I think too, because there's so much urban living and, mm -hmm. and the opportunity not necessarily to have, you have nature at your fingertips mm -hmm. and can feel mm -hmm. it. It's not just a trend that comes and right. go in three years. It's a classic, it's timeless. It's exactly. Yes. So this is awesome. We get to talk to somebody else from Dallas. Please do. Visit through the website. Yes. I'll be there when I come to Dallas Good. next. Good. We look forward to welcoming you. Thanks very much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for House Tipster for making this all possible. Oh, our pleasure. Thanks yes. for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.